you poured $16,000 worth of liquor, gave away $7,500 worth. Oh my God. So, based on a single weekend, your loss was $7,539. That's $360,000 a year. This drunk has given away. Well, there's Zanzibar, guys. Pretty unexciting fun. Uh, what does this sign even say? Zanzibar, a misspelled African name with a Statue of Liberty inside. Doesn't make any sense. That's pretty bad. It looks like you look around, all these other bars have people in them. If I'm a group of college students and we're walking down the street, you're literally looking in and going, nah, let's go to the next place. Right. Free beer! Free beer! So there's Ami outside. He's our owner. Come and get it! Free alcohol! Oh my god. Oh, it's like a carnival. Look at the bearded lady. Why would he scream oh free god. beer, free drinks? A guy comes in, gets a free drink, leaves, and goes across the street. And you can play pool for free as well. Free dates! Ami's definitely desperate. If you want to cheapen a bar, make it look empty and seem irrelevant, stand in front and beg people to come in. Look at how cheap the drinks are. Beers are two fifty with $3 well drinks. So think about that. For a $2 beer, they're oh, chasing sure. away a prime customer. Sure, man. Ami should be charging a couple of dollars more for these drinks. They have a Cosmo. Cosmo? There's a Cosmo. These girls are over pouring. In product costs, that's expensive drink. You're pouring triple portions. That looks so full. Ooh, look at her face. You can't serve that to customers. It's entirely too much alcohol. OK, ladies and gentlemen, free champagne! Free champagne? Oh, my god. Who wants to have two shots? He's doing another bottle. OK. So no one has to pay for anything here. No. Here we go, another bottle of champagne coming out. Okay. Look, it's all about watching him. Yep. Georgie, Bob, Mike, get the free drink over here. Why don't I get a free drink? You absolutely get a free drink. More free drinks. Go! OK, so those champagne bottles have to cost him three bucks a bottle. We watch him give away four bottles. That's $12. So at a 20% cost, that $12 costs himself potentially $60 worth of sales. Ami likes to be Mr. Entertainer. The problem is he's giving away half his bar. I got to teach him how to create a great guest experience without giving a house away. Are we making money? No, you're giving everything away. I'm giving champagne away. Is that Sarah? Sarah? Sarah's the bar manager. At least somebody's looking out for the business. Now, let me tell you what this is. These are Bevintel reports. What this company does is they come in here and they weigh every liquor bottle behind the bar. Then they look at your sales for the next night, and they come back and they weigh the liquor bottles again. It has to do with how much we poured based upon how much we should have poured. Here are the statistics. Friday, you got a D from Bevintel. You guys gave away $960.76. Gets worse. Saturday, an F. Read this number. How much did they give away? $1,596.51. Thank you very much, girls. He's losing two to $3,000 a month here. And I just showed you $2,000. That's not funny. Had you guys poured correctly, he would not have lost money last month. Those girls costed me my business. Those girls cost me my livelihood. This is amazingly stupid. I cannot believe you get $2,500 worth of drink for free. You betrayed me. That's $2,500 and that we can make all the difference between living and dying. How much did you give away? How much did you give away? How many away, free drinks Annie? did we pour for him that night? Last night, we gave a lot of free alcohol. That was encouraged by Ami. We gave champagne, we gave shots, but we don't do it on our own. Ami, I watched you give away six bottles of champagne last night. If you think you're smarter than everyone in the room, you're not. Yeah, definitely. This is so strong. Tony commented on how strong the drink is. All right, so she ordered a blue hurricane. Let's see how this is.
You know why he was green? So much whiskey. Not only changes the color, makes the drink strong. Yeah. So why is she there then if she's not a good bartender? Because she's friends with Jessica. There you go. Has Jessica ever walked up to you and said to you, you are over pouring? Don't look at her. Look at me. No. I saw massive amounts of overpouring tonight, and I want David and Jessica to see how bad it really is. This is my dear friend Peter O'Connor. Hey, guys. Peter is the master of whiskey for Diageo. So what I'd like to do, guys, is let's go over to the bar. What I really want to focus on is your overpouring. And the reason I do blacked out glasses is because visually it's much harder to pour when you can't see, and then we'll judge it. Shannon, uh, one ounce pour in here. Danny. And Eddie. Now, let's see how you did. Ready? Let's have a wee look. Wow. That one's actually bang on. I'm surprised. This is amazing. Proud of them? They can pour accurately? That means you knew better when you did it. Right? You busted. The entire staff poured perfectly tonight, and that infuriates me, because that tells me they knew how to pour properly in the first place, and they chose to overpour and rip off ownership. And that, to me, is appalling. All right, guys, now I'm going to stop with the I have a company called Devintel. They come in here, and they weigh every liquor bottle in the building. Then you go through your shift. Then they weigh the bottles a second time. It tells us exactly how much liquor was wasted compared to what is sold. Friday night, Eddie worked. On that night, you guys did $1,618 worth of sales. And how much did they give away, Jessica? $721.36. In our defense, I think we do make a, a stronger drink because we're trying to maybe keep the customer a little longer. You keep them longer by selling the next drink, not selling one drink. Every time you make that drink stronger, you cost them a second sale and you pour more booze. Bars must be responsible. We have a part to play in our communities, and over-serving is absolutely unacceptable. Saturday night, Shannon, you worked. Did even worse. You did $1,515 in sales. You gave away. Read this number, Dave. 976. $976 worth of drinks. That's $8,225 worth of liquor we gave away in a month. How much did you lose last month? <sighs> Two grand. You would have made six if you managed. You ready for the annual number? $98,705. That's what you guys give away. That doesn't happen by mistake. It happens by choice. I, I would never, ever in a million years think that we were doing that. I have a lot of people say that they need more alcohol. Sure, if I go up to a bank teller, I'll ask for more money, too. Are they going to give it to me? I can't really assess how you run this bar with nobody in it. Now, I'm going to let about 60 people in this bar. Literally in about 60 seconds. Okay. And let's let the proverbial hit the fan and let's see what happens. All right, guys? You got it. Hi. So these are all my friends coming in. Oh, I need menus. What can I get for you? Can I get a captain and diet? Ridiculous. How many? The bottom? Oh, my God. They have a chance to make a lot of money tonight. They got their two bartenders on, both owners are here. They should be able to pull this off. I got captain. Me neither. We're just gonna have to go with it. No beer cooler? I know. It's a mess. <laughs> See? Bottom of the bottle. Second. Bugs, all sorts of <laughs> floating in there. Would you drink that? Never. Drinks. She's giving away whole bottles of spirit. She isn't collecting any money. Woo! Interesting night last night. Interesting night. 
Maybe not your proudest? No. How much money do you put in this business? Everything I have. Together, how much are you both in debt? I don't know exactly. Over 200,000? Probably. Your retirement's gone? Gone. Jamie's 401 is gone, he told me? Gone. And you got enough money to make it how much longer? Three, four months, maybe. And it's done. So this is do or die for you. This is. You guys are waking up with a failed business, and you're not doing anything different. Last night, I slammed this place, right? What happened? We got overwhelmed. We were all over the place. They got so busy that they said and stopped ringing stuff up and gave the whole bar away. Put your hands up! We tried to have a game plan that just fell apart. You took a bottle, you poured it out all over the bar. How much did you ring up from it? Probably only six shots. She gave away $2,000 worth of drinks last night. That's about the number. I didn't do that by myself. That bottle was hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We didn't know what was going me. on last night, who was collecting what, how we were doing it. None of the tabs got paid for. So I brought customers in the everything. building. That's bull and you know it. You're focusing on me being a thief, and I'm not. Well, you were last night. This man is fighting for his life here. Do you understand that? Do you understand how much you screwed him last night? Why'd you do something like that? You guys know what I've been through this year. I only work day shifts. I'm never that busy. Does Callie have a job? No, I don't have a choice. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to do this. I'm seriously not. I'm not. Either tell her to stay and give her the conditions, or tell her to leave, but be commanding. Be a boss now. If one more little tiny minute thing happens, see you later, bye. What can I get you guys? You don't have any June shine, do you? No, we don't. Okay. You know what that is? No, we don't. I don't have that, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. What kind of shot would you like? Uh, here we go. Hey, how, how are, you? are you? How are you? Good. Hi, I'm Nathan. How are you doing? Austin. Austin. How are you? Good, Good to see you. See you. Yeah. It's my birthday month. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Hey, Happy thank you, guys. Birthday. Thank you. Did you notice? They didn't exactly have to twist the niece's arm, did they? No. She's chasing it with a beer. Yes. Oh. He's a little nervy. Hello. What can I yeah. get you, hon? I definitely want to try one of your margaritas. OK. She is. Could you make me a drink as well? Sure. I'd love a margarita. You got it. I'm making it. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do two. Oh, okay. I'm not that know. first one's gonna go, go down quick. Okay. I am so annoyed. This girl's lacking skills. Thank you. I sense a little bit of an attitude from Melissa. Jessica looks like she's trying, but they have no clue what they're doing when it comes to making drinks. Thank you, Jessica. No problem. All right, margarita time. Oh, my God. The onion rings are fine. They're just both so different. How do you like yours? I don't like it. You don't? No. Yeah. The carbonation and this lemon lime soda okay. is going to take out all the flavor of the tequila. I should be able to taste it, and I really can't. OK. And then do me a favor, just get rid of those. OK. okay. Please and thank you. I'm sorry. This bar closing is a real reality now. And it's amazing to me that Paul is sitting here in a hole. How much? 300 plus thousand dollars? 315. 315 thousand dollars. And your owner, rather than fighting for this business, was having a party last night on his money. That wasn't your beer that you drank. That was his beer. You get that? Those weren't your shots that you drank. Those were his shots. You should almost walk up to him and say, Paul, is it OK with you if I have a Coke? Because I know it's your money. But you don't have that respect. And that's what got me angry. To see this poor guy sitting there, how many years did it take you to earn that 315000 Paul? 22 years. And I watched her drink it away last night. You ever look at it that way? No, I haven't. Will you tolerate that anymore? Not anymore. I've always been kind of a pushover. I need to stop that. You need to stop. You're going to lose your money. I want to show you guys something. Can I have a bartender? 
You might want to take a deep breath before I show you this. Over the past several days, we poured $2,486 worth of alcohol. We rang $1,189 worth of alcohol. And how long have I I'm watching your mouths drop because you're the ones who did it. Here's the depth of your failure. How much would you lose in one night? Read that number, Denise. 1,297. How much is that a month? 38,909. How much was it over the year? 473,398. In less than a year, I would have had my money back. That's what happens when you get drunk in a bar, Denise, and you don't pay attention to anything. What, what shot do you like? Now he's going to try to give them a shots. Cheers to you guys. You. you know there's a drink in this for him somewhere. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there it is. There it is. How many drinks has he had? I mean, he's been drinking multiple shots with the customers. He's pouring himself pretty hefty shots. I got you. I'm not going to ring it up. I got you, bro. And he's drinking that way right in front of his brother. Mm -hmm. Right in front of his uncle. Absolutely. They don't seem to care. Nobody seems to care about it. I got you on the shot, bro. I got you. Have you seen one cash exchange between no, anybody? You want a shot? I got you, brother. I don't think he's taking a dollar on that. No. The last two shots, did you open a tab already? No, I got him. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Woo! How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. Wow, this guy's an idiot, huh? Oh, God. Being drunk. Oh, my God. Woo! Let's do this. To be honest with you, I've never seen a bartender right. or owner act like Angela. There were drinks spilled everywhere. It was complete chaos. I felt really uncomfortable. So look at this, Tano and Tommy just let Angela do whatever the hell he wants. Woo! Get out of here, dude. Get your shirt back on. You're out of your mind. Then they're going to blame it on him. But they're standing there and letting him do it. Yeah. Do you know who you are? I'm Angelo. How many drinks have you had tonight? Seven to 10. Seven to 10. How many do you have every night? Seven to 10. This is the way you normally are? Yeah. Come with me for a minute. All right. You're his big brother. What do you do about it? Doesn't listen to me. you. Why the f is he here? Do you know how many drinks he gave away tonight and never rang one up? He gives it away. Disrespects people, embarrasses your family, correct? Yes. What do you do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Woo! How are they gonna call me like that? Let's do a shot. Good night, guys. I want nothing to do with this. You're gonna do shots after that? Stop. Angela! Angela, sit down. I use par tender. Partender is a computer product that takes inventory off all the liquor bottles. And it tells me exactly what was used, exactly what's been paid for. This is the last three days. You poured $16,000 worth of liquor, gave away $7,500 worth. Oh my God. So, based on a single weekend, your loss was $7,539. That's $360,000 a year. This drunk has given away. Wayne, you're the one who can make the most difference here. You got a problem. What are you gonna do about it? Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.